and we're back to learning HTML and this time I'm going to show you how to use the map tag. It's used for an image map and it's best explained if I just create a simple example. So we need our map tag opening and closing. And inside we're going to define certain areas which are going to be clickable. But first let's give our map a name. I'll just call this example. The name is important as we need it to connect it to our image that we're going to use. And as I've said inside our areas, we'll take care of that later on. For now you won't see anything. Let us add an image. We need our source. In our tutorial examples I've got my IMG folder set up. And I've got this simple computer, JPEG, so I use IMG computer.jpg. And I've got a typo here, let me delete this. And here, if I refresh my website, there's now the image. It's a little bit too big, so I go to a width of like 500 pixels. Now we can see it and let's say we want to make the display of the laptop here a clickable area. We first have to connect our image to our map. So we've got the name example, therefore we use use map as an attribute for our image and then add hashtag example. So it is now connected. And we can now define an area. What we need for that is something that we want to link to. I'll just use YouTube, but you could use any URL. So I'll just paste it here. But we still haven't yet defined what we want to click on and what this is going to look like. At first we need to define the shape. We want to have the rect angle. So set it to rect. And afterwards we need to define the coordinates. By default, it's in the top left corner. So these are the first two values for X and Y. And then the bottom right, X and Y are the third and fourth numbers here. If I add a couple of numbers, you can see that now the cursor changes. It's a clickable area now. Let me give it 100 and 100 so that we have a rectangle right here. And it goes from 0 to 100 in X and Y. And now we want to position it on top of the display. You can use measurement tools, for example, in Inkscape to find the relative position easily or just do it like I do here, test and try. We know that our image has a width of 500, so we at least know our X limits. But for Y it's a little bit harder to find. Five hundred covers it, but three hundred you can see right here it ends at the bottom. Let us make sure that we put it on the display. At first we need the starting point for X position. Let me try one fifty. And we're there, so we can use that. Let me make it one sixty. That's a good point. The end position, right now it's 500, let me go to 340. I've already tested this, so this should be where we want it to be. Now let's take care of the Y axis, starting position, let me make it 90. And at 90 the cursor changes, and at the bottom we want it to end, let's say at 200. And now we've got the display covered. And when the user now clicks on it, YouTube will automatically pop up. So using this map allows you to create these clickable events and you can redirect the user then. You can always add more areas so you don't have to just use one per image. But this is basically all there is to know about this map tag in HTML. 
I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.